a new series Art vs Art. Either I challenge or get challenged by a fellow artist and we pick one stock library that we will use for assets and you guys with the help of these kind of balls pick our theme. After that we pick assets and from there we start making an awesome artwork in our style and after that we check both artworks and see what we think about. It. I'm Double Art Angel, I welcome you to the channel and let's have a look at our first challenge. In the red border we have Adam hailing from Annapolis, Maryland USA, being six feet tall, weighing 180 pounds you may not believe it but he has only two years of professional experience in Photoshop. However, he is very creative still. And in the blue corner, we have Mike or Double Art Angel, hailing from Porvo, Finland, being 5 foot 11 and weighing 180 pounds. He has been a professional Photoshop graphics designer officially since 2015. Let me introduce this challenge assets. Battle begin! Okay, so we start off by watching both screens. Right from the bat, I noticed that Adam is doing something different than I. He starts by building his composition from the foreground rather than the background, adding motion blur to his subjects already in the beginning of the comp. We see how he is using color balance to make the composition whole. Back to our duo screen, I start to bash my first main character in the foreground here. Now I started by just clipping out the person from the asset picture and by using these 3d assets that we have from envato i decided to build my own two-handed sword because i wanted a two-hand sword versus sword and shield kind of duo I just make sure that the character actually looks like he should from the beginning. Everything underneath the sword, etc. I decided also to add a helmet to both characters. Now going back to our duo screen again, we can see both have now pretty much gone through to the phase where we are starting to build the actual composition. Adam building the background even more and tweaking it, adding his own castle in the background by using a lot of copies of the same picture and making his own castle and adding this huge stone giant in the background because well Adam decided to go for a more fantasy version I myself decided to go with a more realistic gruesome version of medieval art splintering shields and ringing swords now, all these assets can be found on Envato Elements and I have a link down in the description below where I am sharing my affiliate. You can go there and check out their awesome bundles and awesome prices for your own assets.
here Adam starts to highlight his characters, I make sure that my characters are not the same. Both were red from the beginning, so I make one blue and one red. All right, I, I don't know, are, are, am I blue or am I red? I'm blue, you're yeah, blue. Now, Adam's workflow is super intriguing and he now starts to add highlights and shadows to the background by tweaking level layers and so on, he get the right kind of blend. Now moving on to my part of this competition or challenge, whatever you want to call it, I start by tweaking my characters in levels layers to also the foreground to make it more dark than less dark and more light in the background. Since we get this feel of a uh, depth of field kind, kind of vibe with this. It made sense. It makes sense. I also decide to change my background sky. Now here we start both to highlight our assets. Adam decides to use uh, adjustment layers that are, I think they are color dodge and also a lot of color layers over as overlay above when I instead use my gradient layer. It's basically the same thing except for with the gradient layer you have less control in lots of picks but you have more control when you mask away from it. Here I decide to add a purple type of shadow for my character so you can see that he is running towards this knight in the foreground or launching towards him. Anyway, there's a really good explanation why I use purple instead of black in a shadow and that's because the light source is yellow. Now unless the light source is totally pure white, you should avoid using black color as shadow. What? Come here! What are you gonna do? Bleed on me? I'm invincible! And blood, of course, well, this is a duel in medieval times, and medieval times were everything else except for unicorns and rainbows. So, Peppy, I'm gonna die! So, I decided I'm gonna add some blood in this picture also. But keeping it subtle, and now we are coming to the final steps. Adam just finished his one off and I am going on in camera raw and making the final tweaks and then finishing off by adding the final overlays but let's go to the reviewing part starting with Adam. What's going on everybody? Adam here. Mike, what's going on buddy? I'm looking at your picture right now and I got to say I am impressed my friend. Very nicely done. You made it your own man. Very nice. Anybody who has gotten some eyes on the original stocks that we used. In Mike's picture the, the farthest back castle that was a not a friendly stock image to use at all. So <laughs> you, you did a good job of pulling that together and making that work. I have to compliment you on the helmet of the knight to the to, to the front right here that clearly very manipulated very custom so you made it your own the congratulations on the size of that sword man good for you <laughs> good for you man now i am a huge sucker for good lighting and shadows and you clearly have that here you also changed the color of the foreground which was good you know you made it very customized which is always good usage of trees was nice there's some nice depth you got some blur in the background there so very nice man the only critique i have is more blood buddy more blood now I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. The attention of the viewer goes right where you want it to. You know, we feel like we're sucked right into the fight. We are in that theme. So I'm, I, I know you were happy about the medieval theme as, as much as I was. So, you know, we really did a, we really, you, you really did a service here. You did, a, you did it justice. So that was good, man. Very nice. Um, 10 out of 10. So now if I have to talk about my picture, I will. It's a, I, I hate looking at anything I've ever done. So all I see is things I should have done differently or better or whatever, but I'm sure everybody knows how that goes. So my 
my goal was to ha create this feeling of these knights are having a really tough day. <laughs> they have a fight in front of them, and then they're going to have an even bigger fight in about one minute. The back monster character is clearly knows that they're there and is marching toward them. <laughs> so I strategically did the size of the trees and the castle, trying to show the scale of this mammoth in behind them that's about to just ruin their weekend. So I, I wanted to you know create some depth, but also some imminent danger. I wanted to, there to be some kind of dimension to the story. So I don't know. Maybe I did it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Who knows? But again, thank you for having me. And I'm, I'm happy that you are creating this, this challenge. And there's go, it sounds like there's going to be more in the future. So that's good, too. So that'll be a lot of fun, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to what happens in the future. So take care, man. Thanks again. Okay, thank you, Adam. So let's start off with Adam's artwork. And yeah, he, he did really do a great job in putting the comp together. I mean, I, I love the aspect ratio with the big, huge giant. And apparently the Crusaders have gotten like big giants on their side these days too, because well, I don't know, <laughs> but I love the story that you are trying to tell here in this one. Yeah, certainly blood is missing in this one but you are damn right that the castle in the background was really hard to comp together and to mask and you did a favor by using those trees from that picture instead and building your own castle i love the way you have gone through in this and really got intrigued by your style of blurring out peaks before you start comping them together now as a part-time teacher i avoid giving 10 out of 10 grades or at least i try to but this one certainly gets the golden star of a teacher that's for sure i love this work well done Adam. and next up i mean my own artwork was just well i basically took the inspiration from monty python and then i just made a dual scene trying to go as realistic as possible i started editing these nights with the thought that we will probably have quite the same styles but still totally different anyway let's go to the outro okay guys so that's this week's video and once again my end result looks like this this was super awesome and fun doing with adam i have only one question for you guys and that is which one do you like more i will put up a poll both on instagram and here and in my stories where you can choose now both me and adam are grown-ups and adults millennials because this was the battle of millennials right we won't take it so seriously but we still would love to know what you guys think and like anyway this series will keep going whenever i get a challenger and you can be that challenger just throw an email i have a link down in the description and challenge me by just typing i challenge you to art versus art anyway next week we are going back to my advanced tutorials the second one of them and this is gonna be an in-depth composition tutorial where i tell specific technical terms how to use them like the golden ratio or rule of third and so on Anyway, stay tuned for that. It will kind of be a Valentine's video, but still not at all. Anyway, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe right over here and ring the bell also for more notifications. And while you're waiting for next week's video, you can always check out this video where I am doing another Envato challenge with the team of Lovecraft. Check that one out if you haven't yet, or you can check one of these videos out. Anyway, I'm Double Art Angel. Thank you again for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and I catch you in the next one.